See children, so the next topic ma word search. So next we have word search. So what do we have in the word search? So give one word for the following sentences by using words from box. So give one word. So here the definition or some meaning of it. What do we use total for this one word? For each sentence we can say in a one word. Meaning. So like this we have. So from this box we should choose the so, so, I mean a suitable word for this. Okay. So here what do we have in the box? Hobbies, photographs, dieting, glory, braces and appliances. So these we have Nana. So what one by one see one I'll tell you easily you can remember you can understand brightness, great splendor and beauty. So anything bright and great splendor beautiful means what do we say out of all these what do we say it's glorious. So then it is glory. So which is beautiful and brightness means that we call it glorious. So glory. Okay, no, no. So like this you should write for the total meaning of this word and what do is that word that we should choose it from the box. Okay, no, no. understood now? Yes, tell me next one. Things one enjoys doing. So any work you are doing, you are enjoying. While doing your enjoying means what is that? If you like it only you enjoy. No? So the you like it means those are your hobbies. So do we have? Yes, here hobbies we have. Things one enjoys doing that we call it hobbies. H-O-B-B-I-E-S. Hobbies. Next one, Anna. Creating memories for lifetime. Creating memories for lifetime. What are those? Yes, this is our memory. This is our memory you are doing. What is that? Yes, photos you are doing, na. So that those are our memories. So in all these suitable one, this is only na creating memories for lifetime. Those are nothing but photographs. P H O T O G R A P H S photographs. Okay. Yes, your old photographs are your memories na. When you see them, all the memories you can remember, right? Yes. Next one. Many ways to shed weight. Many ways to shed weight. So to reduce the weight, so many things you follow. That we, what do you call it? Yes, that is dieting. So photographs completed. Na? So that is dieting. So dieting means not uh, 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 without having food. So if you don't take food, that we say dieting. But that is not the correct. Na, na? Limited quantity, number of times, avoiding oily and junk food. So oily and junk food completely avoid it and remaining limited quantity number of times to take it that is called dieting none. So here many ways to shed weighting to reduce weight that what do we say dieting. So write the answer dieting. Okay. Next one, Nana. So get your teeth set and straight. So for the teeth gaps, if we have to set it, they give one steel cap like this, na. So steel string. So that what do we call it? Braces. So on the teeth, they keep some dots or else a string they use it to set all the teeth properly. That we call it braces. B R A C E S. Braces we call it, Nana. Braces. Okay. Next one. Making life easier at home. Yes. Only one or leftover. Making life easier at home. Why do you say appliances are making life easier? So suppose take the example. Washing machine. So but to wash the clothes with the hands means we make too much of pain. Instead of that in the washing machine if you keep it that is only cleaned up. Right. So nowadays we are getting dishwashers. So keep all the vessels in that, it only cleans up, no need to 
clean in the, uh, clean with our hands right so vacuum cleaner so every day we clean up na? but vacuum cleaner once if you use that machine we don't get any shoulder pains right so like this so many are there so home appliances we say making life easier at home so mix uh, mixy or grinder once upon a time all the people they used with the hands but nowadays yes electronic we got it all those we call it appliances na? because it make our it may those made our life very easy so those are called appliances a p p l i a n c e s appliances okay so brightness great splendor and beauty is called glory things one enjoys doing is called hobbies creating memories for lifetime those are nothing but photographs many ways to shed weight reduce the weight that is nothing but dating dating and next one get your teeth set and straight that we use braces okay making life easier at home for that we use appliances okay nana so these are write these answers and learn it see children so the next topic ma in the word search b part what do we have write the meanings of the following words write the meanings of the following words they have given totally five words nana for that we should write the meanings not only meaning and make an own sentence own sentence also we should write it so what are those so very easy words only then we can write it so see this one so first word nana we have seller first word we have seller so first one ma seller c e l l a r seller means what basement we say seller means basement so seller means basement we say so using this seller we should write a sentence using this seller we should write a sentence so what can we write so you can say the house consists of four rooms a kitchen and a strong a storm cellar so that is from the lesson so or else uh, you can write most of the apartments most of the apartments have cellars have cellars for parking so we have our vehicles parking in the cellars only na so that we can write it cellar means basement what is that most of the apartments have cellars for parking most of the apartments have cellar for parking so cellar only right now most of the apartments have cellar for parking right underground place we call it that is cellar so almost all the apartments we have cellar na so we parked our vehicles in that cellar only right so that very easy na you can write and see the second one na floor 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 means ground so see the second one f l o o r floor means ground floor means ground ground so what can we write the answer for this sentence for this ground the apple is lying on the floor the apple is lying on the floor the apple is lying on the floor suppose if it is fell down or it is kept there so apple is lying on the floor that we can say na very simple sentence see the next one third one na anxiously a n x i o u s l y anxiously anxiously means excitedly excited e x c i t e d l y excitedly so uncle looked at the sky anxiously na so that we can write it anxiously 
So, anxiously means excitedly. So, what can we write sentence for this? Uh, Rani is Rani is anxiously a n x i o u s l y. Rani is anxiously waiting, anxiously waiting for, anxiously waiting for her results. R e s u l t s. Rani is anxiously waiting for her result. You also wait for your result anxiously, na? So that is excitingly. Okay. And see the next one, Nana. Fourth one. What do we have? The fourth one. Yes, a cyclone. Fourth one we have cyclone. C Y C L O N E. So, what is the meaning of cyclone, Nana? Twister. Cyclone means twister. So, it is rounding and twisting, it is doing now. So, that is. So, answer what can we write by using the cyclone? The cyclone, the cyclone, the cyclone struck the village, S T R U C K, struck the village last night. The cyclone struck the village last night. So it twisted the village completely last night. Okay, the cyclone struck the village last night okay nana so that is uh, cyclone twist and next word last word you see ma what do we have vacation v a c a t i o n so what is the vacation means we have holiday right you enjoy the vacation na? because holiday it is vacation means holiday so he is on occasion he is on vacation. He is on vacation. He is on vacation until next week. Until next week. He is on vacation until next week. Okay, Nana. So that we have our own sentences here. See, he is on vacation until next week. Okay. So, see this ma. Cellar. Cellar means basement. Basement. So, most of the apartments have cellar for parking. And parking vehicles. Okay. Floor. Floor means it's a ground. So, the apple is lying on the floor. The apple is lying on the floor and anxiously anxiously means excitedly excitedly so rani is anxiously waiting for her results rani is anxiously waiting for results so here instead of rani you can write your name i am waiting i am anxiously waiting for my results or else you can write your name and is anxiously waiting for Results okay, and cyclone cyclone means twister. The cyclone struck the village last night, okay. Ma? And vacation, vacation means it's a holiday. So he is on vacation until next week. He is on vacation until next week, okay. Nana? So, like this, if they give a sentence, you should write in your own sentences using that word. Can do it. Yes, very good. So, first write this and write in your own sentences. Okay, ma. So, first write this and you can create any other new sentences also this. Okay, do it. See children, so the next topic ma, we have writing skills. Writing skills. What do we have in the writing skills? What do you mean by cyclone? So, this lesson is about cyclone. Na? So, what do you mean by cyclone? How does a cyclone form? How the cyclone forms? Heavy winds. Na? So, now write the answer. A cyclone is... I am telling the answer for this. Write down. A cyclone is a system of... 
A cyclone is a system of winds. A cyclone is a system of winds that rotates. System of winds that rotates. R O T A T E S. A cyclone is a system of winds that rotates about a that rotates about a center of about a center of about a center of low atmospheric pressure low atmospheric a t m o s p h e r i c atmospheric a t m o s p h e r i c atmospheric pressure p r e s s u r e atmospheric pressure okay and so cyclones are formed cyclones are formed formed when when warm moist air m o i s t moist air when warm and moist air over the ocean over the ocean rises over the ocean rises over the ocean rises upward upward from upward from near upward upward from near the surface upward from near the surface okay nana this is like this cyclones form so what is the cyclone what do you mean by cyclone how does a cyclone form what is this ma a cyclone is a system of winds that rotates a system of winds that rotates about a center of low atmospheric pressure center of low atmospheric pressure that we call it cyclone and how does a cyclone form cyclones are formed when when warm and moist when and warm and moist air over the ocean over the ocean raises increases too much of moist and warm heat if you get over the oceans upward from near the surface so above it and near the surface if we have then cyclones will be formed okay nana so this is the uh, writing skills part so write it down all of you see children so the next topic ma life skill part so next one we have life skill part so in the life skill part what do we have if you are in the place of daroti so daroti was in danger na at the time of cyclone so if you are in the place of daroti then how would you have handled the situation so there she kept quiet when the uh, uh, heavy wind happened when she could not walk she kept quiet on the floor and she waited what's going to happen so like that so what suppose if you are in the place of daroti what would you do how do you handle the situation imagine yourself and write three to four sentences in this okay nana of course you can write more also minimum three to four sentences write down okay nana so write this answer and i'll check it in the next class okay write down see children so the last topic in this lesson the last topic in this lesson ma we have creative fun what do we have in the creative fun fill in the boxes with the sounds of the following animals fill in the box with the sounds of the following animals so here they have given the animals following these are names of animals and here they have we should write the sounds of the animals we should write the sounds of those animals okay nana so see the animals goat camel horse donkey wolf elephant 
goat, camel, horse, donkey, wolf, elephant. So sounds of these we should write it. So what is the goat sound we call it? Man, that is called bleating sound. What is that ma? Bleat. B-L-E-A-T. Bleating sound. Goat sound we call it bleating sound. Okay Nana. And next one camel. Camel sound we call it grunt. Camel sound we call it grunt. G-R-U-N-T. Grunt. Camel sound we call it grunt. Horse sound we call it. Horse sound. Nay. Horse sound we call it nee, N E I G H. Horse sound we call it nee. Okay, na na. Next one, donkey sound we call it bre. Donkey sound we call it bre. B R A Y. Donkey sound we call it bre. And the next, wolf sound. Wolf sound we call it howl. Wolf sound we call it. Howling sound. H-O-W-L. Howl. And last one. Elephant sound. All of you know. Yes. Trumpet. T-R-U-M-P-T. Trumpet. So trumpet or trumpet. Anything we can say. So goat bleeds. Uh, camel grunts. Horse knee. And uh, donkey brays. Wolf howls. And elephant trumpets. Elephant trumpets. So all these are the sounds of the animals. Bleating sound from goat. Grunt sound from camel. Knee sound from horse. Bray sound from donkey. Howl sound from wolf. And trumpet sound from Elephant. Okay, no, no. So, names of the animals and their sounds here we got it. Got all of you? Will you learn the sounds of this? Along with that, some other sounds also learn it. Already in the second term, you got the sounds of these animals, all the second class and second term, third, I mean third class also you got this. So, learn this. Okay, no, no. So, learn the sounds of animals.